I just wanted to come on here today because I just got a new microphone. It is the Sennheiser MKE 600. And I thought today would be a good idea or you know, a good topic to talk about audio. So when it comes to audio, it's more important to have the proper placement of your microphone than it is to have a super high-end quality mic. A lot of times people think that they need the best of the best, but this microphone is like a $300 microphone. And you're talking, there's some microphones like all the way up to two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. But this microphone though, to me, sounds great because I'm holding it pretty close to me, which I actually have it right in my hand here, pointing right between my chin and my sternum. And that is the proper place that you want to be pointing a microphone at because you're gonna get some of that low end bassy tones from the chest. A lot of times you might see a microphone actually attached to like the lapel of someone's suit. And that's a lav mic. Uh, that mic is great because it's super close to the source. So you're gonna be picking up great audio from them but those mics do pick up a 360 degree pattern. And so sometimes they're not the best to get the cleanest audio. And so that's why if you're using a shotgun microphone, it is very important to be having that microphone placed as closely as possible to the subject. But just know if you place it like right towards their mouth, you might be getting more of those bigger, um, like when you say P's and B's and S's, you're gonna pick that a lot more and that's gonna be picked up on the mic more just because if you have it pointed right at their mouth, that's exactly where the air is going, right to the mic. So you might get a little bit distortion by doing that. So, and again, that's why it's important to place it between the chin and the sternum because you're gonna help eliminate some of that distortion and also you're gonna be picking up more of that bass end. Just know though that whatever mic you get might not be the best for every person. This microphone, I like the way it sounds because it picks up more of that bassy end and my voice isn't really too deep. So it's gonna be picking up more of that low end for me. But if you have somebody like a, a Jason Momoa voice and you have a microphone that picks up more of the bass, you're not gonna wanna be using that mic on them because it's gonna make them sound a little deeper than what they actually are. You're gonna wanna find a mic though that is gonna be the most natural sounding to a person. So when you're starting out though, and you're trying to find out which mic's best for your use case, is you just have to listen to see what you like to hear and what really picks up a majority of people's voices. So if you're starting out, what I suggest to do is just buy a microphone, learn that microphone, how it's gonna pick up, the directions it's gonna pick up, how it rejects noise, and when it comes to editing, all of the information that that microphone picks up and how to edit that mic is more important than having a super high-end mic. So what I do too then is I just started recently working with a audio engineer. I can do all of the audio engineering myself when it comes to that, but I'm not the best at it. I'd rather pay somebody who does this full time and does it on a professional level so then I could have a lot better sounding audio when it comes to my client shoots. I wanna make sure that I'm providing the best audio possible to my clients. And where that brings us into the next point, audio is more than 50% of your video. People rather sit through something that sounds great but looks crappy instead of something that looks fantastic and then sounds crappy. You'll help your audience be more involved and more engaged when your audio sounds great. So that's why it's super important though to learn your microphones and know how to properly place them and know everything that that microphone is going to be picking up. Now, the last point I wanna to touch base on though is there's a lot of different style of microphones. I'm not an expert in this field, but just know though that this is a shotgun mic, so the way that you point it is what audio you're gonna be picking up. So if I point this away towards the camera now, it's gonna sound a lot worse than when it's pointing towards me. And even when it's pointing to the side, it's gonna be rejecting some of this from the side here. And so that's why you gotta make sure that you're be pointing it at the proper subject. And so you're picking up the cleanest audio possible. But that's all that I really wanted to say on here. Um, like I said, I just want to 
make this video just because I got this new microphone. It's really me testing out the mic, seeing how it works, seeing how well it sounds. And I just want to give you guys my little two cents on what I know about audio and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next.